Hello, this is Ron Watson, um, Director of Content for PTC User. I want to welcome you to the PTC User Technical Committee Open House on the Windchill Technical Committee. So we're gonna give everybody a, a chance to join in, the attendees. Um, I just wanna remind everybody that uh, we are in recording mode and I'll remind everybody again when they get on. Um, also, if you have any questions, uh, please use the Q&A box and I'll help facilitate those questions. We could respond to them either textually or, or live. Um, also, if you have any technology issues, um, use the chat. Or if you wanna communicate with anybody um, on the panelists uh, or communicate with other people uh, attending the meeting, you're, you're welcome to do that as well. And so we'll just get started in just a, a few seconds here, giving everybody a chance to join in. So again, I'll remind everybody that this is being recorded, the PTC User Technical Committee Open House uh, Windchill. Um, I will like to introduce Margie, our president, and she'll start to take us through these slides. Okay, Margie, go ahead, thank you. Everyone, um, we're very pleased that you could join us today for this session of our open house about the Windshield Technical Committee. The intent of this meeting here is to let people know about what is going on in the Windshield Technical Committee and see if this might be something that is of interest to you and you would like to join. Um, so we'll continue on, please. Next slide. There we go. So who is PTC user? We've been um, operating for over 30 years now. And PTC user has served throughout this time as the independent voice of the customer. So that means that the members of PTC user are all from companies like yours. We are not PTC employees. Um, myself, I work for Raytheon. We have several other large companies represented on the board and as technical committee chairperson. So we work together to um, partner with PTC to help make their products better. And PTC user as an organization, we advocate for our members. By, we have a threefold mission, educate, advocate, and support. So um, educate, we do primarily through webinars that Ron hosts. Advocate is done through our technical committees that we're talking about with you today. And support happens primarily on our, our PTC user portal and also on the PTC community site. Next. Um, we also advocate for the community uh, with frequent meetings with PTC executives. The board meets with executives uh, quarterly. The, the committees themselves meet with PTC product management team, usually at least monthly, and oftentimes they, they communicate even more frequently. We advocate through our live events this past January, we held a conference in Scottsdale, and that was a, a, had a great attendance there. I think it was up around 400 people. We had several tracks. There were CAD, PLM, um, Arbortex, manufacturing, thing works, a lot of things happening at that event. And so we like to keep these live events going as a place where users can come and connect with each other, connect with PTC, help work together to make things better, networking. We have a great exhibit hall where we, I think we had about 25 exhibitors there. So it's a great place to find um, PTC, PTC partners that are providing value added solutions for, that you can take advantage of in your company. So we'll continue on. So the technical committees, this is what we're primarily here to talk about today. The technical committee is the main voice of the customer. 
These committees are led by a PTC customer. In this case, it's Lewis Lawrence. And ideally, he'd be the one speaking with you here today, but he has an emergency and, and I'm ha having to fill in for him. So hopefully I'll do it part of the justice that he would be able to do. He would be able to do a much better job. But Lewis meets with the PTC product management team, which we have represented on our call here today. We have Debbie Schneider and Jeff Demsky. And the technical committee has, I'm not sure, quite, I think a few hundred members with, with several, maybe, maybe about 70 or 80 were in attendance personally in January. And there's a significant number that call into the monthly meetings every month. And together, the, the customers share what's on their mind, what is working in their company, what's not working, what's their top wish list for improvement. Um, and then the customers partner with PTC and typically kind of spawn working groups to work on each of the topics that are identified as areas for improvement. So the working group is the vehicle to solve a specific problem. And the technical committee is the customer audience that is just on an ongoing basis looking at the windshield product. So the committees often uh, help to find experts to give webinars and these are done periodically. I think we have webinars we try to do at least one a month, um, but they're pretty, pretty frequently and uh, kind of rotate through different areas of expertise. The technical committee is very valuable for networking and it's a great place for you to learn from your peers at other companies. Uh, people are very open and sharing what's going on in their company, how they solve problems, and it's just an awesome place to go and make connections and learn, learn information quickly. The committees drive our agendas. So we're not driven, you know, there's no corporate agenda in place in our events. All of the topics are driven by the committee members themselves. So it's a place where you can drive what's on the agenda. You can help influence what the conversation is about to make it the most valuable for you. We also, PTC user technical committee chairpersons are heavily involved in shaping the LiveWorks agendas. So we um, review the abstracts with PTC and help identify the, the sessions that'll be of the most value for our group. The, a little bit about the TC chair. Again, the chair for this committee is Lewis Lawrence. He's been the chair for several years and does just a fantastic job. He, the first bullet's kind of funny. He helps everyone. He does, he does represent the voice of all of his members and tries to make sure the environment is productive for everyone, uh, including he listens to what PTC wants to talk about, makes sure that makes it on the agenda. He listens to what the customers are interested in working on, make sure that makes it on the agenda. And so that's why we have that first bullet there. He's available to help with what people are looking for and make sure that connections are made. He sets the agenda, make sure the conversation keeps going, identifies where working groups make sense and works with the right people to make sure they get formed and get started and off to a good functioning start. He communicates with other TCs. So a lot of times, you know, windshield, there might be a topic that also relates to visualization or also relates to CAD. And he partners with his peers in those committees to make sure that working groups or the topics are available to everyone and everyone has a chance to have their voice heard. some of the tools used by PCs. So right now we have our web portal, ptcuser.org. And if you're interested in joining this windshield committee or any of our other committees, I encourage you to go there, ptcuser.org, as you can see. 
um, you need to create a login. And once you have that login, it's completely free. You can go to the TC section in the middle and do a request to join, as you can see in that bottom piece where the red button request to join. And that helps you get added into any of the committees that you're interested in. We also are partnered with PTC on their community site. So I believe that's community.ptc.com. And um, hopefully you're familiar with that site. It's a place where the general PTC customers go to just have the on to, you know the online typical community activity that you'd expect. But if you want to get involved in technical committees, you have to go to this ptcuser.org portal and request to join, which puts you on the list so you'll be informed of their future meetings. We are working to upgrade this platform, and so in the fall, we should have a, a new and exciting version that uh, we're really excited about sharing with you. Next slide. Here are a list of our active PCs. And so you can see today we're going to talk a little bit more about Windchill, but these are the other committees that are available and you are free to join if you have an interest. Next. Okay, and now I'm going to pass it over to Debbie Schneider and Jeff Zemsky with PTC. They're the product managers I referred to earlier to share a little bit more about how they work with this committee on the Winchell product. Debbie, you're on mute if you're talking. Yes, I was, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is, this is uh, Debbie Schneider from um, PTC's PLM product management team and uh, the uh, Winchell Technical Committee meetings are hosted every month by uh, Lewis Lawrence. He always starts the meeting with a safety moment uh, to uh, allow us enough time to uh, get everyone to join the meeting and, and the, the Did we lose Debbie or was that me that? I think we lost Debbie. I don't hear her. Shoot. <laughs> She's still connected. Are you reaching just, out to her, Jeff? Or? I, yeah, I just texted her. Um, so, what, so what Debbie was, what, was saying is that um, Okay. Um, You're back. It, I'm back. <laughs> I told you I, my internet was not stable. Not me, just my internet. Uh, so um, he, so so that all the members get to know each other, and that really helps with um, the peer-to-peer -peer collaboration uh, that that happens um, within those technical committee meetings. Uh, he. He usually has a topic to discuss that's of um, interest to the group. Uh, sometimes the PTC product managers are presenting on uh, our roadmaps, topics that uh, the, the committee wants to talk to us about. So sometimes there's that collaboration. Sometimes uh, it's a presentation done by another customer that might be talking about, say, their upgrade best practices and looking for uh, some peer guidance on what they might do um, to improve their, um, their processes. Uh, we generally have at least five or six of our product managers in these monthly meetings. Uh, we also use it as an opportunity to um, do kind of the status, the work that's going on um, underneath this group, uh, whether that 
whether that's talking about what's going on in the various working groups, and, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, potentially, um, there might be usability um, studies that we want to run, and so we might come in and, and talk to the technical committee and do some recruiting um, for usability studies. But overall, um, I've had a long-standing uh, relationship with the PTC user organization, and um, we find the technical committee to be a very good partner to help us in terms of really understanding market fit for what we develop so that we can best meet um, the, the requirements of the 9,000 Winchell customers that we have and uh, to help us with um, product usability um, is another big focus of our partnership. Um, so I, I don't know, Jeff, do you have more to add about uh, the relationship with the technical committee overall or um, from uh, specifically related to the technical committee meetings? No, I think I think you gave a great a great overview. You know, I would definitely um, emphasize that it's very much collaborative in nature, and there's uh, topics that are both uh, customer led as well as topics that are PTC led, and the spectrum on the Windchill Committee um, ranges everywhere from um, discussions on. Uh, database architecture and configuration up through and, and those kinds of technical topics up as well as through business process topics like uh, configuration management or, or change management and, 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 and even how the implications of, of organizational change management and rolling out PLM down. So it's a you know, very, very broad set of, of topics um, and there's, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, customers uh, who are willing to, to collaborate and share experiences. So it's not just about the collaboration with PTC, but it's also that, that customer to customer, peer to peer uh, collaboration that, that drives a lot of value in this, in this TC. Should we go to the next slide? Yes. Yeah, okay, I guess it's talking a little bit about, um, about take, taking that responsibility and Lewis Lawrence being our uh, TC chair. I do think we wanna take a few minutes and talk about, um, at least from a PTC perspective, uh, uh, the, uh, the working groups and how much value we receive um, from the uh, working groups, uh, which are managed out of, off of the PTC community, uh, but really championed and staffed by um, the technical committee members. So we probably have seven or eight different topic-based working groups uh, right now uh, in the, uh, in Windchill and each of these working groups probably have memberships 20, 25 people. Uh, the working groups range from about a, a six month, depending on the group, maybe to a year commitment. They are generally chaired by both a customer and a PTC product manager. Uh, who, and, and interestingly enough, uh, the topics can come from PTC or they can come from the user base. And we always find whenever the user base says, hey, we're, we're interested in, in having a working group to talk about this topic, generally the response from, uh, from the product managers are, well, that's great because we're looking on how to improve in that area. Uh, so it's an opportunity within these, these working groups. And I would say of the six or seven that are going on right now, all of them are related to things that we're working on in, in PTC. So it's an opportunity for uh, the, the customers to get together, share um, some of their business challenges, how they would like to use certain features, what they're looking at, and, and help us kind of align that um, with our roadmap. So Jeff, since you lead a couple working groups, I'll let you 
provide a little bit more detail on that? Sure. Uh, as an example, one of the working groups that we're currently running right now is on uh, change redline and, and change intent and planning. Um, so, so that's 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 this is actually a fairly large and long long running project, and we've got a pretty broad uh, uh, customer support. Um, we are actually right now, uh, as we're heavy in development and we have lots of topics, we're actually on the cadence of meeting every two weeks. Um, and the, the expectation that we have is that all members who are signed up are actively providing feedback and input, um, as well as, as, uh, as well as, um, uh, presenting their use cases. And then uh, from the PTC standpoint, we are presenting either our, our requirements and in, in, in getting input into our requirements as well as uh, demonstrating software and getting feedback on the software as it's being developed. So that's, uh, that's an example uh, uh, that we're doing with, uh, with the windshield change, uh, change redline. Um, and we we've done similar with uh, an enterprise change topic uh, in the past. Uh, Steve Shaw had a great uh, great committee on interactions between CAD and Part, where where many of the items were then rapidly taken through several releases. Um, so it you know it tends to be a a, a working environment where there's a really great line of sight to give uh, direct participation and comments. Um, as well as, as well as, you know, get some good insight into, into what's being developed. So I, th I think that's all we have from a, a PTC perspective. So we'll hand it back over to so, um, PTC so user. Do you have more? Yeah, I was just going to say there there were a couple of questions that came in, and maybe I'll just read them from from the broader for the broader audience. There was, are there any TCs uh, for users of non Creo CAD users? My company uses a mixture of CAD soft software, mostly AutoCAD, and they are asking questions about how AutoCAD acts with Windchill. Um, and so, uh, as Frank noted, there's a range of TCs that work with um, a third party CAD. So uh, from a CAD data management perspective, um, Windchill, uh, those topics are covered in the Windchill TC. So whether it's whether it's tools like um, AutoCAD or SolidWorks or other uh, CATIA, other third-party CAD, those are topics that we cover um, in terms of workgroup management. And there's also um, other committees that talk, uh, talk about some of the um, interaction in larger processes like data exchange or model-based enterprise. Uh, next question that I saw came in was, is there a day and time that this group regularly meets for once a month? So Lewis tries to keep these on a Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern, which gives us the, the best coverage for customers who join from Europe as well as the, the West Coast. So the, the Windshield Committee is, is a fairly international group and we do have uh, some good representation from, uh, from our European customers as well as North America. Um, and then actually at some of the live meetings, we, we, we also get some representation from Japan. Uh, so those do tend to be Wednesdays. It's although it's not always, let's say, the second Wednesday, but but it does try to consistently be a Wednesday at 11 a.m. So on that note, I will uh, yeah we'll turn it back over to PTC user. I'll put the uh, some of the contact slides up. If there are any more questions, please feel free to put them in the uh, Q&A. Yeah, so this is Ron. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Debbie, for taking us through that, Margie. Um, so any other uh, questions we have from the audience? I think we saw, I think we have one coming up. So um, um, are, are, uh, this is a good question. So are the face-to-face -face meetings compulsory? So do you have to attend them? No. no. Well, I would say, Olaf, for you, they're compulsory, but, but no. That's good. Oh, he, he, he appreciates that for sure. He's been, he's been involved in this, I think, longer than all of us. Come Absolutely. On. Yeah. One, one, um, of, one of the champions for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
Um, and any other questions um, that uh, that have, uh, that are coming up? Well, we certainly look forward to you per to participating in the TCs. It is, as you can see, and and you know, um, Jeff and and Debbie joining us is really a good representation of what goes on at these TCs. It's your way to get the customer voice directly into the product and the product development process. So um, this is the best way. I mean, we all have companies and have different influence, but if you really want to uh, drive the direction of, of PTC products, uh, TCs are the way to go. Um, so, um, so that's good. We'll, we'll also just, uh, as I said, this, this is being recorded. Um, we're, we've obviously have a lot of sessions going on uh, over the last, uh, you know, day and today. It'll take us a little time, but we, we are um, posting them onto our PTC user portal um, as we work on them. So expect over the next week for them to be here as a reference if you know other people. All that, that it takes is for you to join PTC user, uh, get an account on our portal, which is free, and then you'll have access to this content plus all the webinars we've been running for the last several years. So you might find something interesting there that you might have missed as far as content. Um, so I'll uh, just, any last questions anyone has? All right, well, very good. Uh, we will uh, we'll wrap up the session. We thank you for your time and we look forward to, uh, to working with you and talking with you in the future. Take care, everybody. Thanks, everyone.